I'm going to show you how to build a programmatic SEO keyword automation tool. The tool is going to generate a list of keywords and key phrases. And for all of these keywords, we're going to get an SEO blog title. We'll get the search intent, a Google optimized meta title and meta description, keyword difficulty, and the estimated monthly search volume. Only tools we need to do this basically are ChatGPT and Make.com. We'll kick things off with a Google Sheet. We've got columns A through to G, keyword, blog title, search intent, meta title, meta description, search difficulty, and search volume. Next, create a new tab. In here, I'm just adding the prompt for ChatGPT, and it's going to tell ChatGPT to return a list of keywords and key phrases related to a keyword that we provide it. It's going to provide that in JSON format, in this example, I've just asked for five records to be returned, but you can make that 50, 100, 500, whatever you want. So now I've jumped over into make.com. This might look a little bit complicated. I've just zoomed in a bit here. First, we've got the Google Sheet one here. It's actually a search rows one. So if you click on Google Sheets down the bottom here, you've got a whole bunch of options. I'm using this one here, search rows. And all that this one is actually doing is referencing the prompt we had on that second sheet. So the, the spreadsheet was called Site Data Automation. The sheet name is Assist. And then it's looking for the first record. So that one is pretty basic. It's just grabbing the prompt. Next is our OpenAI Chat GPT. We want to create a completion. You want to just go with the default here, create a chat completion, then choose a model. I've just gone with 04 Mini. And then down here, I'm using the role. This will be an assistant. And for the text content, this is our prompt. If I click on here, you can see from the spreadsheet, we can see our prompt in here. I want you to act as a market research, etc. That was our prompt. It's bringing that in. So in terms of that open AI call, that's all we have to do. Next, we need to pass the JSON. So all you need to do is just click on the little plus button and just type in JSON and, and there it is. This JSON module, it's going to actually pass all the data that's being returned from OpenAI. And if we click in here, what we're actually looking for is the OpenAI data is going to be returned in here. And you just want to go to choices, to the message, and we want the content. So you can see here, there's already some data from when I set this up. So AI automation tools and then a comma and then the next one. So it's in that JSON format. So next we're going to have this iterator again to get an iterator. It's one of these flow control tools. You just click on it here. What the iterator is going to do is if we return five keywords or 50 or 100, it's going to process them one at a time. Once it gets to here, it needs to grab the first one in the list and then process it completely for the rest of the automation. And then it will come back and do the next one. From here, what we're looking for is the related keywords and the keyword data. So that is coming from here. That is this one here, AI automation tools. We would just click that and that's what's going to go in our array flow control here. So I'll save that one. Then our Google Sheet. This is where we want to actually save the data for that first element that's been iterated out of our, of our JSON. This is going to be saved in the sheet where we had all the columns for the data we're going to build out. So I've named the sheet PSEO and then we have a header row and then we have the data. So for keywords, the data is going to be this data here. So click on this automation tools that for yours, it may have something different, but the key thing is you just click on that number one there and that will put the keyword data into column A. Based on our keyword data that's returned, we want to generate an SEO blog title. Our next open AI call. Again, the role will be assistant. And our text for this one, I've just said generate an SEO blog title less than 70 characters using this keyword. So that keyword is what's coming through from our JSON data. So we just click that and that's the variable that's going to be returned. And because it's on the iterator, it'll, be, it'll change each time it completes a cycle. And then in the Google Sheet, we're still on the PSEO sheet. Row number four, all this is saying is which which row to add it add it to. And it'll this is actually coming from whichever row the keyword was added to is the row you want to be adding your your blog title to. So going down a bit, the blog title, that data is coming from the last open AI call we did, and there it is there. 
content, top AI automation tools to streamline, blah, blah, blah. That is the blog title that it's going to come up with when we run this. The thing to note is also this first one here is to add a row. So we're adding the row for the keyword, but the, all the future ones in this process are going to be updating that row. So for our keyword, we add a blog title. And then this is where things get a little bit funky, I guess, because we add a router. To add a router, pretty straightforward. Go to flow control, click on router, and then off the router, we're adding five open AI calls and five update a row spreadsheets. So the first one, the important bit is just to head down to the prompt. I'm asking for it to give the search intent of the blog title. So if someone puts a search query into Google AI automation tools, which is the title of this blog, we want to know what that search intent is. Is it informational? Is it for purchasing? Is it for something else? So if we click on here, we can see where this data is coming from. It'll be the last ChatGPT call and it will be in here. Top AI automation tools to streamline. That's the title. And it will, it will find the search intent. Once we have that search intent, then we need to update. Again, you'll see it's update a row. And there it is there. It's coming from that open AI call we just did. So choices, message, and content. Primary, the primary one is commercial investigation. We can see that that is going to work. Now, the other ones, in terms of the Google Sheet, we're just going to update the appropriate column. But the open AI calls change. So for this one, we're going to get, so for the SEO blog title, again, we want to generate the meta description and it's going to be between 50 and 60 characters and only return the meta titles. And then just like in the search intent, we update the column for that row. In this one, this is where we're going to get the meta description, I think. For this SEO blog, there's the blog title, generate the meta description between 130 and 160 characters and only return the meta description. That's okay. The next one. So for the blog title, we want to get the estimated search difficulty based on Ahrefs logic, only return the search difficulty number, do not comment. And the final one. So this one is, so for the given blog title, we want to get the search volume for the USA region and give us the volume number and don't comment. Basically from our seed keyword, we generate a big list as long as we like, we pass it, we iterate it. And then from this, this point onwards with our blog title, we can run that through OpenAI and generate all this other information. With that, I will update the prompt. I'm going to make this instead of five, we might do 20 and AI automation for developers. I'll leave that as our keyword. So if I go back over to make with a bit of luck, if I press run once, this is going to run through and generate the 20 rows of data that we can use for programmatic SEO. So that's just completed the first cycle. If we go to our spreadsheet and I click over on the PSEO tab, you can see the data is starting to come through. That is finished. We go back over to make. We can see it finished at number 20 here. So that is looking good. There's no errors. We scroll up. There were two weird rows. This one was missing the meta description and this one decided to include four. The reason for that is the prompt needs to be probably tightened up a little bit to be just a little bit clearer on what it's to return. So you don't get situations like that. But in the grand scheme of things, it's no big deal. If you got some value from this video, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.